Well, a bill passed by the Maryland legislature has the state's comptroller angry. Alex Dimitrik reports Peter Franchot is calling a bill regulating small breweries unfair and damaging to those businesses. Attaboy Beer in Frederick started last year. Brian and Carly Ogden have sunk everything they have into the brewery and tap room. I was taking the gravity on each of these beers, checking where they were in the process of fermentation. But it's what fermented in Annapolis that brought state comptroller Peter Francho to Attaboy Beer, specifically what he calls backroom deal making. I was disappointed and astounded that the legislature passed a bill that will stifle the growth and success of Maryland's thriving craft brewing industry. The bill will increase the number of barrels of beer a business can make to 2,000, but makes selling it off premises difficult. And it will limit the hours beer can be sold from tap rooms for new breweries, not existing businesses. You know, that's fine for us, but then that doesn't help any new breweries. It doesn't push the craft beer scene further. For a small brewery, uh, Starting out in the beginning, you're, re you're relying on selling directly to your customers. The comptroller plans to form a beer task force to come up with new legislation to make Maryland more welcoming to small brewers. Reforms to our dysfunctional and antiquated beer laws are long overdue. So these are our livelihoods, so we're definitely going to keep, keep pushing forward. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. Now, alcohol control falls under the Comptroller's office. Francho plans to have the Beer Task Force's recommendations drafted into legislation by next fall.